So Japan get us underway. The last of our women's quarterfinals. The kick doesn't go 10 metres. So it'll be Australia a chance just to ease into their game early on as Kaslik will trot forward to create the play. They've practised these moves time and time again. Okay. Use it now, please. Away goes the tap from Keslick, and it's a change of tactic. She stabs ahead for herself to chase foot race with Herano. Herano is the one who gets back there. No goal. But a rare no goal. change from Keslick and a penalty for Japan. Away they scoot. Good tackle, Faith Nathan. And forward, but Japan, as Levi puts a shot, nice support play from Kajiki, she fends away from Kazakh. She's tough, Marin Kajiki. Really hard nosed Japanese players, tall, long levers. And this is promising from Japan. Up over halfway, they've peeled off some good meters. Hirano, the captain, who got back to Tackle. recover that kick ball through. Kajiki once more. Flat for oh, Hirano, she just tried to tip it on as NASA came at her. Shani Smale quickest to the loose ball, so a chance for Australia Shani's here. Over. Levi just tipped up. Good hustling tackle from Hara. And it's a knock on from NASA, so not quite clicking together just yet. Well, for either team, but Australia in there. Here's Japan's biggest fan. I don't know why she's gone shy now. Yeah, she knows because of Kojima. We're going to show her every time. She's a superstar for this Japan fan base. Both teams playing with out sweepers. So playing into the extra pressure that having that seven up in the line, forcing errors both both ends of the spectrum. Contrasting records of the two teams. Australia on an eight-match winning streak in quarterfinals. Japan have never won any of their five. And it is a flying tackle made on Herano. Flat ball up the middle. Again, the support play from Again, Japan is excellent. It was Suji Osaki this time. They're asking Lanka questions tie. of the Australian defence, and Australia is absolutely up to everyone so far, or everything. And there's going to be a penalty. Back. Slightly yeah, high tackle, Faith Nathan. Nathan. Just pop the hand up. An intense start for both teams. Australia penalties creeping in early in this match. And Japan will look to slow down the play of ball. Nathan it was who went high on that last tackle. At least you've been in the position where, like this Australia, current Australian team, where everyone wants to knock you off, where Japan have got nothing to lose. How much does that sit on a team when it's a little bit tight early on and you're trying to get your game going and nothing everyone, the vast majority sometimes don't want you to win it? Well, when you think about those things, Ricky, that's when it all goes wrong and you hope to just stick to your game plan and structures, but it is, the pressure is hard. And here comes some pressure from Yumi Herano. Finds Hara. It's another good foray from Japan. And Tegan Levi, well, she got the first grab, but... Oh, she did steal it away. I thought Japan had come back and won that through Utsumi, but great steal from Tegan Levi. Shani Smail in the middle for this one. Madison Levi playing in close quarters. Don't see her off in there. Pick and go, Maddie Levi. Now comes Bellanessa. It's increasingly impressive player, and that is really high, and he needs to be blown up. <laughs> Poor old Nessa. Now some space here. This could be danger times for Japan. Again, Levi in close quarters. And that is a good shot too. Some hearty defence coming from Japan. Smale hangs on to a good ball from Kaslik. How many times that's happened between these two? Nessa slings it across. Now Levi with some open spaces. Again, didn't chop up to take the outside this time. Caught on halfway. Another penalty. Australia 
Just over two minutes to go. Still no score in this quarterfinal. Japan defending stoutly. Now room for Smale with Faith Nathan with her. Hutter's going to try and come across. Lost the footing. Look at the great footwork of Nathan. Again, Utsumi brings her down. Now, now Australia look hungry for points. Nasser in the middle with Tia Hines. Hines just ghosting around herself and slipping through the tackle. And one of the young guns, Tia Hines, finally breaks this deadlock. Hines takes it upon herself to take on the line. We finally see them connect some nice width passing together. Levi was cutting under for the switch, but Hines didn't need her. And she goes through the Japanese defence to break the deadlock. There was a long passages of play for both teams. Can't convert her own try, Tia Hines. So just the five points, but five points to nil for Tim Walsh's team. Looking slightly worried there, slightly concerned, Walshy. But I know he's got some tricks up his back pocket for sure. not going to go the distance as well so a few things just not quite clicking together for Australia even though they've got yep. this 5-0 advantage we're ticking towards half time well, Japan is really forcing Australia to play a really close quarters game we saw Levi picking and going through the middle something that she doesn't need to be doing against this side that's really good at the breakdown as well seeing Eddie Levi come to the side as well can't even shave out there so Levi getting a rest See if Japan can build something again here. Kijiki once more getting the offload from Saigusa. They come down a blind side here and there's a hole which Itsumi is almost exploited. And then a wrestle for the ball was it lost by Japan and won back once more by Tegan Levi. And Kazlitz is going to get us to half time and a regroup for Australia. It's a tight quarter final this one. Australia leading Japan five points to nil. all go on and off the field. Aussie fans seeing their team 5 nil up and we can go straight away and have a chat to Maddie Ashby sitting this one out. Thanks so much, Maddie. Boy, it is tough and tight in there. What was the message you think to the girls at halftime? Um, the message from the girls was just to go through phases with Japan. They're a fit team. Um, they're always on their feet, so try and phase them out as well as we can. And that's what they did and ended up scoring their last try. Nads Quirky here, you're obviously in the seat that you don't want to be in. What are you going to look to bring if you get through to the semi-final? Um, I'm just going to do my role as best as I can, Quirky. You know what it's like when you come back from such an unfortunate thing. Just come back on, do your base, it's right, and then go from there. What adjustments are you looking to make with the tackle stuff? We know it's been a bit of a problem for the team in the last few tournaments. Um, just go low. I'm a short girl, so get as low as I can. Short, short queens. How do you get out of this one, first of all, if you can get your way through to a semi-final? What does the team need to, need to do well in, this, in these first few minutes of the half? Um, I think we just need to calm down and do the basics. We don't need to stress as much, and I think um, once we get that down packed, we'll be fine. Thanks so much for your time, Maddie. We appreciate it. <laughs> Looking forward to seeing you back out there. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I love to get down onto the on. benches. Just tackle Go. low. <laughs> Pretty simple, isn't it? Go low, get the ball back. Set. Australia's got the ball back here from this state. I just want to feel it like if they can just score here and get things moving. But Japan, as Maddie Ashby said, they're super fit and that really hearty. Attack nicely. Soraya Paki out there. Now, good strength in the carry from her as Caslett goes in and whips it away for Smale. Nice ball wide, Hines. And now Nathan likes to have a bit of space and she's got great footwork too. You know, one way, then the other, just trying to dance her way around the defence. It's a good shot from Herano. Not missing much in defence, Japan. Smale tries to no, carry the team no. on her back. Nakamura needs to get out of there. Hines goes in. Caslett. Had a little thought about going herself and then comes back for NASA. And oh, there's a good little bit of faint from Shani Smale. 
We flinched up here, saw the tackler coming out of the corner of the eye. This is better from Australia. Caitlin Shea, but still no way through. Otani and Hutter, and look at Waka Bahada on that ball. Huge turnover from Waka Bahada. I played alongside her, and she is an incredible player. Dominating Shea, fellow Tokyo Phoenix member as well. Beautiful technique to steal that ball back. A huge momentum swing for Japan. As Australia look to inject Maddie Levi back into this game to see if she can swing the momentum back in Australia's favour. Wakabahara scored that winning try to get them through to this quarterfinal, Japan. And they have been well and truly up for this one. They've never won a quarterfinal. They've only been in five of them. Thank never you. won it. <laughs> right, um, the mix up. Time to fill off. Time to fill off. Okay, hands back on. Coach. Five. Set. It's a tricky scrum, but Japan able to wrestle it out of there. And away they come again through the middle. Nice quick ball for Nakamura around for Herano, and she's so dangerous, as is this woman again. Kajiki slips the ball for Nakamura, tried to get it in away, knocked down in the tackle. It's going to be Japan ball again. Good spot tackle made, though, by Saraya Paki. Okay. Great shot to shut it down. She'll be breathing a sigh of relief. I can't hear Assistant referee's got the flag out on the far side here. Is it me they're yeah. having a chat about this tackle from Pucky that the Wars lost control yeah, and they're going to have a look at it. The hit here from Pucky. Okay. Her hand touches the ball, but it clips the chin of the Japan player. Oh no, this is not what Australia need. It's difficult to see from that side, but there is certainly maybe this one here on Tanaka. Re up decision for you. It's a deliberate knock on and it's a yellow card to gold. Gold 65. So it's not necessarily a tackle. What they have said is it's a deliberate knock-on, a deliberate knock-down. So a yellow card for Saraya Paki. Another game, Ricky, that Australia has to play with only six women on the pitch. Time's back on. Boy, this quarter-final is on a knife edge. Australia down to six for the next two minutes. They lead by five points to nil. Two. So how the bench gets used, it's Levi heading out there again. Shani Smale comes to the bench. Japan. Comes back on. Boy. Coach. Five. Absolute tension. Set. So Tanaka feeds the scrum at seven on six. Japan have got the one player over it. Here's Herano. Herano's got a lot of speed as well. She's going to take on Kaslik herself. Kaslik always up to this challenge. Just rides her into the ground up to the 22. Great pressure came on from Nathan. Now the bouncing ball is going to be knocked down. And oh, Japan, could she have released Hutter on her outside, Alicia? I think that was an opportunity gone begging from Herano. But Captain Fantastic, Kazlik stands up to the challenge, okay. lifting her team right, forward with that try-saving effort. Stay okay. Stable until the ball is in, okay? But they're not out of trouble, Ricky. They've got to get out of their half. Coach! With only six players. Fine! So still another minute in the sin bin for Soraya Paki. She's up off her chair. Charlotte Kazlik, she's so critical to this. Australia have got strike weapons everywhere. Here is one of them. Still no room for Maddie Levi. 
And Japan will give away a penalty. That's what Australia need. Now they roll forward. This champion team, Tegan Levi, taking it upon herself. Now looking to race away. And a big time player is going to come up with a critical play at a critical moment. Tegan Levi gives Australia some breathing room. And the tactical sub from Walsh. Coach Walsh pays off. Levi interjecting herself back into this game in a huge moment. They were deep in their own half. Quick tap from Kazlik and backs herself, takes on the defenders, strides away. She loves it. Matching her sister Maddie in her try scoring ability. And it's gritty determination. Thank you. From Tegan Levi, yeah. Intensity sealed with a kiss as well. Australia. Oh, good conversion too. 12 points to nil. Pucky's back out there. They've got the full complement. Japan have got 90 seconds. They put so much pressure on, but nothing to show for it. Backwards. Kajiki and good hustle to the loose no, ball. Wait, no from Australia. <laughs> Penalty comes. Maddie Levi will tap and go. Kaslik. Nathan. Pucky. Here they go. Getting that ball moving. Kaslik rips a pass wide for Tegan again. It's just gone forward. They'll have to be called back despite the rules of the crowd. Maddie's still going. She's done it down. She thinks it's still good. Oh. Margin, a game of margin. Five. Hold five. Okay. Time to off. Well, the class has come to the fore for Australia just when they needed it, Tegan Levite. Okay, Thomas back on. The critical score. Coach! Five. I was going to say, looked a little bit nervous there, but there we go. And keep the smile away for too long. Free kick here. Japan need to get moving. And this is eating up time. Something else that'll eat up time is scrums, Ricky. And you can't go over the mark. But Japan obviously thinking it's their best tactic to be able to exploit the Australian defence. Coach! Bye! Who to go is Australia are going to get out of this one with a couple of big plays when they needed it. Japan will keep playing. They deserve a try out of this match. Head. A few opportunities, but couldn't quite make the most of them when they needed it to. No goals. Tanaka. Oh, Nakamura, but a razzle. Knock on. That'll be finish it. And Australia will take a big old breath, get on out of there, and get their way through to a semi final against New Zealand. What a semi final that'll be. Sometimes you're not going to win it pretty. And Australia go through with a 12 0 win over Japan.